Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Can you close the door? Alone at last. So I found this random room in the office just to shoot this quick intro because I wanted to tell you guys this week I put together a vlog just showing you guys what my weekly shenanigans are like, you know, at the office, at home, going out for lunch, things like that. But also how I shop online using sites like Jet to buy what I need for beauty and also like home stuff to help save time because no one's got time to go to a million stores. And then we'll take it over to the weekend. <laughs> no. And that way I can also show you guys the process of, I don't know, because like living in New York it just gets like really overwhelming sometimes so I'll also show you guys what I do to wind down. It just seems like every day you wake up and bat a few eyelashes and it's like the end of the day already and then it's like, what did I even do today? So yeah, whee! Wow, so art! <laughs> <laughs> Starting with Mondays, popped on a face mask because why not? Then popped out to lunch to get a coffee at Blue Bottle and saw this epic coffee drip display there. It wasn't just a display, it was real and it was awesome. Then got a little hungry doing work and found all the ingredients to randomly make a s'more. Dominique and Sal got nothing on us. Oh my god, the fire alarm's gonna go off. No fire, but it was delicious. <laughs> so while I'm here, just decided to put through some orders on Jet. So normally I have to like go to different places to buy all these things. Buy all these beauty essentials, but also for Swiffer. And also this milk. I'm really curious about this milk because it's coffee and it's almond milk. Okay, so just waiting for the elevators now to go home, but it's like really late. So you can see why I like to shop online with Jet. And like the last thing I want to do after work is to be like, oh my god, I still have to go and buy stuff. And especially because New York is so crazy, like there's just people everywhere and I hate waiting in lines and everything. Jet just makes everything so much easier and I can just buy everything all at once and just check it all off my list, you know? So I feel like if you're also living in the city or in any like metro kind of area, it's kind of like an essential tool that kind of just helps you save time. And believe me, you want to save time. So we'll wait for the package to come in a couple of days, but for now, let's go home. Tuesday night. It is now 8.30 and I am the only one left in the office. And I'm just here all by my lonesome meh. But it's actually okay. Cause I actually get more done when I'm kind of like alone. On my desk I like to have this huge calendar under my keyboard because it makes it easy to just remember everything for the week and also the month ahead. It's 10 o'clock and finally going home for the night. Gonna go home and probably watch a little bit of Netflix and call it a night because I'm damn tired. <laughs> Wednesday laundry dude this bag is literally like my own weight so I'm just going to the laundromat now to drop this off on my way back now and actually bought a bunch of stuff from Jet and it arrived so I'll just show you kind of like my typical beauty and home haul oh my god it's so cold Okay, so it's like so cold outside and so hot on the inside because our landlady just blasts the heater whenever it gets like mildly cold. So now I'm like sweating. You can never win. Anyway, there are some items in this purchase that I'm really excited to try and I'll probably do that a little bit later on in the day. Both Les and I, my roommate, we both just shop online basically because we have no time to do groceries and go out and buy like beauty products and all that stuff. So this is kind of like our one shop stop for everything, especially in the city. You just have so many things going on all the time. And for me, I'm like managing two channels. One is this one and one is Beauty Within. So, you know, there's a lot going on. So Les, she got us toilet paper for a year. So Les buys like epic toilet paper to last us until the end of our lease. <laughs> anyway, that's where we store it, in with our coats. Anyway, I think it's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
so let me just run you through some of the like essentials that I got because I needed a bunch of like things for my face especially so this is the thing that I told you about it's the um, Indian healing clay it's basically like a really hard clay mask that apparently sucks all the grime and the sebum out of your pores so I'm gonna try this tonight and I'll show I'll, like do it with you guys because you mix it with apple cider vinegar so yeah I got that one on jet and then as well as that, I heard really good reviews about this Thayer's Witch Hazel. It's like a toner for your face and they said it helps with like inflammation. And there's three different ones, um, but I found this original. It's like an aloe vera formulation. It's like this old school packaging, which is kind of cool. And I was surprised I even found it on there because I was looking for this and when I was scrolling through like skincare and stuff, when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I really need this. And it doesn't have any alcohol, so it's really good for sensitive skin. Paca, paca, paca. And this one's really good at balancing and priming the face for like the products that you're gonna put afterwards. Bing! So there's that one. So a lot of these are kind of like my beauty items actually. And then I got another one of these Mario Badescu drying lotions because I had been using Lezzas for the longest time because I ran out of mine. I need all these like skincare things because I've been breaking out like a mofo on the bottom of my chin. And I think it's just completely hormonal. It's because my thing hasn't come for more than a month. It's because I'm just irregular like that, so little TMI. Another, ooh! <gasps> I'm really excited about this one because I was in Soho and I saw the Ritual store and I wanted to buy my mom a present. And BAM! They had Rituals on Jet. So I picked up this Calming Bed and Body Mist. It's White Lotus and Yi Yi Ren. I think the whole philosophy is that they're inspired by rituals like beauty rituals or spa and like body kind of thing. Mm. I don't know if actual lotus smells like this, like where do they get that scent? Um, but that's just another thing I picked up on the site. It says it's a calming bed and body mist. Promotes restful sleep and meditation. Because every night I do meditation, so I guess this is good for just like calming the mind, soothing the mind. Okay, in terms of food, because they also have like pantry, they have like croissants and bagels and stuff, I got this, which is the cafe latte cold brew coffee with almond milk and it's dairy free so I've noticed my breakouts have been tied to consuming milk and cheese cheese has been another thing that's really like spiked all my breakouts especially on the chin so on the site they had a few different flavors I'm like sweating am I sweating it's because I'm so excited <laughs> they had a few different flavors and they also had a bunch of other brands that did this kind of like um, coffee almond milk or like almond milk type stuff. Ooh! So this was another thing that I was super surprised about like finding on Jet. It was because Sundays, it's actually a nail place in New York City and this is like vegan free. They have like a place in Soho somewhere and they have all these really cool designs, really minimalistic. And I remember one time when Les and I were trying to like find a place for a cool manicurist. I didn't know they actually sold their bottles of nail polish like this. So when I saw it, I was like, dang, I'm gonna get one. Saves me like 60 bucks. I think it was like $50 for a manicure. And so I got this and it was only like 18. So the next thing is kind of like big girl items. I got this Swiffer to clean my my floor because it is hella dusty and then this is kind of a continuation of my like spring cleaning if you want to call it it's this storage bag um, that goes under the bed so you can put all your clothes and stuff and just slide it in under there I looked at the container store but it was like really expensive so when I saw this in like the home section I was like damn this place just has everything it has everything and that's about it oh and I also got a like a thermal mug it's like those two layered glass coffee mugs but your girl wasn't here for that package because that one came separately. So yeah, that's about it. So as you can see, I bought everything from like essentials to kind of not so everyday things like that ritual mist. Jet is this one-stop shop 
that you can basically get everything from. I think it's kind of like an essential, especially if you're living in the city in any kind of like metro area. It just puts everything in one place and delivers it to your door. Because ain't nobody got time to go to groceries, to go to drugstore, to go to everywhere on the way back home, right? Not about that. Wait, when's my laundry done? When did I go down? Let's go pick up my laundry. Okay, back. I am so annoyed. So I just got a wallet. I got this. It's this like bifold wallet. I dropped it on the pavement and now it's scratched and dented. Really? I feel like these things is like the universe reminding me to not be attached. You know when like you get a new phone or you get something new, you cuddle it like a baby and you try to like protect it so much and then the last thing that you want to happen actually happens. It's because you're attached to it. So the moral of the story is to just not care about anything and then you can live a smooth life like Buddhism without attachment. Just live without attachment. Anyway, that's what I try to do anyway. It's it's kind of like a reminder for me. I mean, there's worse things in life. Let's not cry over spilt milk. Speaking of milk, let's try that almond coffee thing. <laughs> so good! Oh my god, this is legit the best almond milk I've ever had. It's so smooth. It's not like overly sweet. This is dangerous. I can drink the whole thing. Mmm! So good, so good. It's like, you know when you're a kid and you drink chocolate milk, but this is like coffee milk. During lunch, I went out for a quick breath of fresh air because sitting in the office all day can be kind of taxing. And so it's nice to freshen up the mind and the body. And Bryan Park's probably one of my favorite places. I used to come here when I first moved over to New York City. So shall we check it out? <laughs> When life gets kind of busy and gets the best of you and you're starting to feel a little down and stressed out, it's really important to just take some time for yourself. And I really learned that the hard way this year. So yeah, I just went out to enjoy the sun. If you guys didn't know, on the back of the chairs, there's actually like engravings with personal messages on them. And this one says, forever barefoot in the park. Oh, this is a happy 18th anniversary to my best friend. I love walking this life with you. Oh, that's too good. It's nice to just take a break from everything. So yeah, at least it's a sunny day today. And oh, you have to remember to look up because these buildings, it's like, oh, so nice. So, we stepped out of the office for lunch to get some bubble tea! Keep calm and drink tea. Yay. Okay, oh, Kenna. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking New York. Okay, so funny story. I thought the hot pot was at six initially. Found out it was at seven. And then I found out that it wasn't seven. It's actually eight. And I like got ready to go and everything. Womp womp. So I have another hour. I'm gonna start editing. So lonely. No friends. No friends. No friends is my food. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my god, it's so cold. Just got back. Ooh, let me show you something. Let me just take off my jacket. So yeah, went and had hot pot. I smell like a friggin' kitchen right now. Mia went to Korea. As she was coming on the way back, I was like, is there a gentle monster at the airport? And apparently there is one at Incheon. And so I just like went online and quickly just like browsed through and scrolled up the thing. And then like I wanted a pair of kind of pinky ones, got these ones. So this is the glasses case. So because I kind of just got her to get me something, like I sent her the picture of the one I kind of liked from the picture, but you know with sunglasses you never really know if it fits your face or not. But I thought these were really cute. The, these ones, I forgot the name, but if you're interested I'll put it like on the screen. So they're kind of like pink around here and then they have a darker shade of like lens. And then the side is just gold with the same pink. 
So let's see if these even match my face. Yeah, I like them. I like the really like straight frames. My face is kind of long and oval and I have a huge forehead that is sweating profusely right now. But yeah, I just like the shape of them. They're kind of like rounded at the top. They're kind of like oversized. And I liked the lens because it's not completely transparent, but it's also a little bit like shaded as well. Yeah, so she was at the airport and picked these up for me and apparently they were 203 US dollars, I think. But on the website, in, if you get it in America, it's 280. So I think that's a pretty good steal if I do say so myself. Yay, thanks Mia. And now, bringing us over to the weekend. So it's now 10.45, but I thought because I just finished my shower and everything, and my breakouts are still going strong, I'll try this baby tonight. Eek. So all you need is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay, and some apple cider vinegar. So on the back here, it says the ratio is one to one. So however much powder you put in, you put just as much apple cider vinegar. And then they also say not to use stainless steel. So I just got this like Asian looking spoon with a typical Asian koi on it and just like a ceramic bowl. So I'm just taking some of this. This is what it looks like on the inside. Maybe like, this much is enough. And, bloop. and then go in with the apple cider vinegar. Bloop. Oh my god, you can hear it fizzing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, this smells so bad. Whoa, it's like soda. Maybe I didn't put enough powder in here. This looks a bit runny. Wow, that's really bubbly. Is this too runny? Man, that apple cider vinegar smells so bad. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of... Oh my God, oh my God. That just went everywhere. I said I was gonna put a little bit more in there and a whole chunk fricking fell in. Too much. Oh my gosh. What a fail. <laughs> Actually, this looks a little better. Okay. So I have my mirror here. I think I'm just gonna splat it on. Apparently, it sucks all the bacteria and the excess oils and the sebum that's like clogging your pores. It's like putting cement on your face. Not that I have any experience with what that actually feels like, but this is how I imagine it to be. Making sure it's nice and even. Getting that upper lip pimple. Apparently, calcium bentonite clay is actually green clay. Ah, that makes sense. That's, I guess, why our face is green right now. Let it dry for five to 10 minutes if you have delicate skin and 15 to 20 minutes for normal skin. I'm definitely normal, just a basic normal gal. <laughs> you will feel a pulling and tightening sensation. Feel your face pulsate. And in the meantime, I'm going to replace my bed covers. off with a mask on you can't even like move so it's like <laughs> okay so I can barely even move my face <laughs> why do I look so funny oh my god my eyes are like dragged down I really cannot even move oh my god this is definitely the tightest mask I have ever used so tight 